This is absolutely one of the best, if not the best, eviscerations of the past year. And it comes from Florida Congressman Byron Donald, who Joy Reid accused of being not authentically black because he doesn't subscribe to her ideology or party. And it does not take long to see who the bigger brain is. My friend Jody Arrington, who's going to chair budget, he wants to look into the budget and also look into entitlements. Do you know that Social Security is going to be insolvent in 2035? It is not going to be. That yes, is not true. That, that is actually, actually not true. No, it's actually not true. No, it's say. actually not now, true. Joy, it's actually I'm a not true. Professional. It's actually not true. But Congress. it's actually not true. The financial community. I That's actually you, not true. That's Social actually Security not true. will go insolvent. That's actually not true. Those are the facts. That's not true. Should we not that prepare is not for true. that? What the Republican Party and what the Tea Party have proposed is privatizing Social Security. Okay, so like he knows what he's talking about. She doesn't. She doesn't offer anything in response. All she does is talk over him saying it's not true. Very like juvenile, what you would expect to find on the playground when you were in first or second grade. It's really embarrassing. And just the fact that he immediately drove her to acting like that shows what a clown she is which would actually subject Social Security to the whims of the market, which I don't think that people, that's not what they paid into. The, no, if no, you look at the returns not, of the S&P 500 that's not true. since that is not 2006, true. That's not true. the returns of the S&P 500 since 2006, You're that saying, includes so you, 2000, you, Okay, so you support privatizing I, I, Social Security. No, I want to explain to you. I am a financial professional. I'm securities license. Actually, I just lost my licenses because I'm not allowed to trade anymore because I'm a member of Congress. Mm -hmm. But let me assure you, if you look at the S&P 500 from 2006 until today, the growth rate in the S&P 500 would have more than taken care of Social Security, way more than the federal government. And has. each That's time true. that you had a crash, it would subject people's no, Social Security true. funds I'm, to a crash. Hold on a second. So let me just, in, hold on a second. We're not going to have a whole long thing on Social Security. But let me just be clear. You you are in favor of privatizing Social Security. No, I'm not in favor but you of just privatizing argued it. for it. I said okay. you, you, you just brought it up and it. I brought you the facts. But so you on are, S&P 500. So if a bill came occurred. forward to privatize Social Security, you'd be for it? No, because what we should be doing. Okay. Hold then on. it's a moot what point. We should, then it's a moot we, point. It's not a moot point. Then it's You're a moot trying point. to put words in my mouth. I'm but you just explained that the S&P would be a better return than Social Security. given better returns than So then you're for privatizing That is a fact. Okay. Don't cheapen privatization when the data is crystal clear that the returns would have been better. Okay, you're for it. You've said that you're for it. That means that it would have been a better situation than what we've seen to this point. I mean, that's so childish, her entire tactic there. It's like she's not interested in an actual back and forth uh, based on facts, a discussion. She's not interested in that. All she's interested in is pinning uh, a policy, a vote on him for a completely hypothetical privatization of Social Security. And he obviously can't do that, but he's just making the argument that you know privatization actually would be a better idea to what we have right now. now I'm not an expert on this particular thing, so I'm not going to say it one way or the other, but he seems to know what he's talking about. And the privatization idea has been around for a while. If you remember back during George W. Bush, he, I believe, is the first one to suggest that, and he was pummeled for it. They love George W. Bush now, uh, but back then they thought he, it was all the same stuff that they say with Trump. Now it was exactly the same thing. And they said he was a racist moron, didn't know what he was talking about. He was going to wipe out Social Security. And so... I think the idea of privatization is at least, I mean, it should be up for debate. The next thing here is CRT. And she actually did once bring on Chris Rufo, who is probably like the premier figure on knowledge about CRT and how it's uh, been disseminated out into the school system and how it's actually like der CRT derived uh, materials that are getting into the curriculums. Now, it's not the actual theory of CRT. It's just the curriculum that is derived from that ideology and when joy reed had chris rufo on it did not go well for her. i don't think she's had anybody on since until this guy who actually knows what he's talking about one sir you defend voting laws that said getting rid of ballot harvesting is a good thing that we did so you've defended the florida voting laws um you and you've actually the laws in the country the florida voting laws the Florida election laws are the mm -hmm. best election laws in the country and go you, ask arizona go ask california one, go ask new york uh, we do it the best okay yeah. all right go ahead. you know the fact of the matter is is they keep on with this voter suppression narrative despite the fact that we've had in florida and georgia they had record numbers of voter turnout so the voter suppression did not occur it is literally a blue and on 
conspiracy theory that they trot out. And you've defended and actually have co-sponsored two pieces of legislation opposing critical race theory. What is critical race theory in your view? Oh, critical race theory actually is, goes, comes from critical theory. And essentially what it does at the, at the graduate level, it talks about the implications of racial policies in the past in American history, their impact on society today. Their impact hold, on law. Hold on, the, the, hold on, the issue with critical race theory, if you distill it down into K-12 education, is you do not have the ability to have the detailed conversation of critical race theory at the graduate level. And so here's my question. If it seeps down into K-12 education, is it stuff that students are not prepared to be dealing with? Shouldn't students just be learning about reading, writing, and arithmetic? And history? so you don't that believe that, that students should be, should be learning about level? the racial history of the country? Because Here we go. So Joy Reid always goes here. All the people who are trying to give cover to CRT in the education system, that's what all of them say. Uh, you remember Malcolm Nance got destroyed by Ben Shapiro when he tried to make this argument that CRT is just teaching about history in America. That's not what it's about. That's not what it's ever been about, unless we're talking about the revision of history, like the 1619 Project. The fact of the matter is the people who are opposing CRT in schools do not oppose teaching the history of America and racism. I always learned about that. Uh, I think that you should learn about that because you don't want to make the same mistakes of the past. And I think that's a lot of why we oppose CRT is because it looks to us like we're cre we're making the same mistakes of the past. When you're otherizing a group, which would be white people, and you're casting them as the source of everything that's wrong in your life, well, that's not going to end well. Critical race Actually, theory is not no. taught. Hold, Hold on. on. Critical Hold race on. theory is not taught in you're, a single no, K through 12 that's school. Not true. One it's moment. It's subject. a legal theory that's you're, taught in law schools. Okay, we're going to have to come back yeah. and continue this conversation. We're actually literally out of time. They're telling me you have to go. Okay. Critical race theory is not taught in our schools, and learning about racial history. Wait, wait, wait. She just said, no, no, no. You can't answer me because. Because I, they're telling me in my ear that I got to go. And then she just continues to berate him without letting him respond. I'm going to kick it back a little bit here. But, but look how she does that. It's so immature. Everything she does here is like what I would expect from a teenager uh, interviewing somebody that they're just getting destroyed by. And so they start reacting this way. You would not expect this from somebody who's a supposed professional. So watch this again. Because critical race Actually, theory is not no, taught. Hold, hold on. on. Critical hold race on. theory is not taught in you're, a single no, K through 12 school. One you're moment. It's subject. a legal theory that's you're, taught in law schools. Like, we're going to have to come back and continue this conversation. We're actually literally out of time. They're telling me you have to go. Okay. Critical race theory is not taught in our schools. And <laughs> learning about racial history actually would be good for it's your show. you. I'm going to give you the last word, but we're going to do this again. We can it's just such slimy tactics. She would not let him respond. She just wanted to make sure that she got the last word in there, accusing him of not wanting to teach racial history when it's never been about that all right folks i hope you enjoyed that if you did please hit that like button share and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video